All right, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to generate leads with LinkedIn Sales Navigator. So I'm gonna show you from start to finish, meaning I'm gonna show you how to set up all the technical infrastructure, walk you through how to identify and build out the lead list in Sales Navigator, and then write the copy and then actually launch the campaign. So let's get straight into it. If you're not low on a budget, I would spend the time to just go on Upwork and find someone to actually set up inboxes for you. It's kind of a tedious process. It's kind of hard to do if you've never messed with the DNS or you know actually had to create email accounts yourself. And so if you go on Upwork, you can find someone that will probably charge you 20 to $50 to set up your inboxes. And what you'll need for this is 10 Outlook inboxes with 10 domains. We prefer Outlook just because it's easier to manage, easier to connect with your email sending platform, and we'll have less disconnects and everything outside of that. And I actually see better performance compared to G Suite. And we buy our domains on Porkbun or Cloudflare, it doesn't matter which one. And then what you wanna do is make sure you have an account on either one and also set up a admin panel with Microsoft 365. If you Google it, you'll find out really quickly and just put a virtual card in there. We use Mercury for our banking and you can spin up unlimited virtual cards for free. And then you basically just wanna pass off the logins to the Upwork freelancers that's gonna help set up all the accounts and allow them to, to take care of it from there forward. And then you wanna take those actual inboxes that you know the, uh, the, the freelancer creates and then put them into Smart Lead and turn on warm up for two weeks. So that's the first step. That's the quickest way to go about it. And your total cost of goods is under a hundred bucks to get that going. Um, and really you're just paying the freelancer like 20 to 50 bucks. The rest of the stuff is for the domains and for the actual inboxes. Now you want to go into ChatGPT. A lot of you guys have never done outbound sales. So, you, you know, you stick to the titles just like CEO, owner and founder and president. And you forget about all the other titles that are more relevant to what you sell. And so the best way to identify like the titles you should be using is go into ChatGPT and just use this simple prompt where you say, I sell and then put a short description of what you sell. I'm needing, a, I'm, I'm needing help to build a lead list to do outreach, help me identify titles in the Department of Industry in this headcount that would be relevant to my service. Please provide me 10 to 20 titles. And so here's an example I use for my agency, a B2B lead gen agency, and it gave me a ton of titles. The big thing here, though, is that once again, ChatGPT hasn't actually done cold email outreach. So you kind of have to use your head to identify, OK, out of the, the 13 titles it gave me, which ones are just absolute bad fits. And so if I'm selling B2B lead gen services, very rarely would I ever need to speak to the speak, the, speak to the CFO or a talent acquisition lead or an HR director, or an IT director slash manager, but sales managers, VP of sales, CEO, COO, great titles to, to reach out to. And so that's what you'll do is you'll simply just take all the titles given and, and exclude the ones that don't make sense. Now you just want to open up sales navigator. Um, if you want to save money on, if you want to save money on sales navigator, there's also vendors that are able to get you discounted ones that are usually on Upwork and I can't remember off the top of my head for some reason, but you can go on Upwork and just type in like discount and sales navigator. And I'm not exactly sure how they get it, but they're able to apply a license to your account. So I think the standard sales navigator license is like 75 to $99 and you can get it for like 15 bucks, something like that. And so you just want to go into sales navigator and punch everything in. So you'll see here, I kind of put the head count, put the HQ of uh, the companies, put in all the job titles and then uh, puts the industry and the geography. So now I kind of have my, my lead list built out and you'll see there's 7,500 results. So with LinkedIn sales nav, they only show you 25 results per page and 100 pages in total. So that's 2,500 total results, even though it says 7,500. And so if you wanna scrape all 7,500, what you need to do is split this up into batches of 2,500. So the quickest and easiest way to do it is through the headcount. So if I remove uh, all the headcounts, and just do the 11 to 50, I get to 3,500 results. And so I'm actually going to just do the 11 to 50. I think that, uh, that's what exactly what I did. Um, so you, you'll see right here, for example, two and a half thousand results. So if I look to scrape this result, I'll actually get the entire list. And I just want to keep doing that in batches of 2,500. Anyways, I'll take this, this search URL. And then what I'm going to do next is basically go into export list.io so this is a tool that we use to scrape linkedin uh, the benefit here is that we don't have to use a chrome extension and it's not being run off of my profile so i post a good amount of content i'm almost at like 10,000 followers on linkedin and so i don't want to risk my account getting shut down or banned or anything of that sort because i'm running automations or scraping data off of it and so that's why export list is super handy they have a sales navigator scraper that you simply input the search URL. So that's what I'm doing right here. 
And then um, what it does is it'll use their pool of avatars to actually run the scrape. And so it's not actually using your account, which is super handy. And so once you actually submit the order, it's gonna process through their accounts. Let's actually look at it. Uh, let me refresh right here. So you'll see that I have the sales snap scraper on the recruiters and I'm gonna download it. I've already downloaded it, so I'm just gonna open it really quickly. And you'll see right here, this is what the CSV looks like. So it doesn't actually come with emails. You can click their email enrichment, but I prefer to kind of enrich it another way and I'll show you how. Uh, but the CSV it has everything in it. Um, and the main data that we're looking for primarily is the profile URL, first name, the last name, as well as the company domain. So you usually don't get all these filters with most typical scrapers because most scrapers are just scraping straight off a of sales nav, like the actual like page in itself. What export list does is they'll do that, but then on top of it, they'll also look up the company and be able to grab you other details from like the actual company page, like company description, uh, the company LinkedIn URL, and then like company domain and website. So now we have the sales navigator scrape. What we need to do now is identify emails. And so, like I mentioned, the most important info to add is first name, last name, company website URL, and then the profile URL. If you have those four data points, it's very easy to do a waterfall enrichment and find emails. And that's what we'll do. And we'll use Better Contact Rocks for that. So if I go to Better Contacts Rocks, what this tool is and what, what's really special about them is that they do a waterfall enrichment. So you give them those four data points that I mentioned earlier. And what they're gonna do is now run it through nine to 10 different data providers and help you find their emails. And this typically will increase your enrichment rate by like 10 to 12%. And so, um, you know, just think about it, right? Like if you're using one database, you just have the contacts from that database. But then if you don't find some contacts, uh, you need to run through another database and you just increase your chances of actually finding more emails. And so that's what Better Contacts Rocks does. So up until this point, we've identified our ICP, we've set up the technical infrastructure to actually be able to send the emails, we've scraped and built our lead list using SalesNav, and now uh, we've found the emails. So the next thing is actually writing the whole email sequence. And so this is the structure I like. You're probably gonna read this and be like, Nick, this seems really basic, does this actually work? And this is actually one of our highest performing scripts that we used last year. And so uh, this is the, the structure of it. So it's high first name, personalized first line, and you know, you could automate the personalized first line using a tool like QuickLines or Line.ai or any of these other tools. And you can put that in the PS. That's actually what we do now. And then you just go super hard and direct with the value prop. If I could generate X results with this risk minimizer, social proof, would you be interested in this week? So how that actually looks like in a cold email is like if I could generate you 15 meter ready leads in six days on a performance basis like we did for XYZ marketing, would you be interested in speaking? So a lot of people overcomplicate copy. Copy is very easy if you actually sell something that the market actually wants so a lot of you guys don't get results with cold emails simply because of that it's not because of the deliverability it's not because you know you didn't build your lead list the right way sure that could play a factor into it but at the end of the day your offer just sucks like the what you're selling isn't something that the market actually needs and so if you can solve for that you can mess up on everything else that i just showed you in this video and get great results and so with us and the reason why this copy works and, you know, we're just going straight and direct is because we're performance based. So, you know, that's the risk minimizer. We're selling some level of personalization through quick lines. And then um, we're selling B2B Legion. Everybody needs B2B Legion. Like that's probably the reason you're watching this video, trying to figure out how to generate leads. And so if we could do that and generate it on performance basis and show social proof, it's a no brainer. People reply. And so if you don't sell something that's actually what the market needs, you do have to you know, make the copy look all crazy and put these unique creative strategies in there. And, you know, I find that a lot harder. I think it's easier to solve for, and it's, you know, obviously gonna help your business more in the long term, uh, to solve for an actual offer that has service or product market fit. And so that's how you go about the actual copy. And then you just gotta launch that inside of um, Smart Lead. And for us at Leapbird, my actual agency, Leapbird.io, we've pretty much automated this entire process. All we have to do is go into this review form right here and we just need to you know choose the type of link or like uh lead list that we're using to build so in this case it was linkedin sales nav we'll input the copy and everything of that sort and then all we have to do is simply come into here and then click create draft campaign and it's going to actually launch inside of smart lead and so you'll see right here we actually have um, the lead list created as well as the entire campaign sequence and so yeah that's that's basically a quick video i know it's super quick but very efficient and effective on how to generate leads with LinkedIn Sales Navigator.